Hi, Martin here. In this video I'm going to show you how to make a racing game with Scratch. So I've already made my basic game. I'm sure you can do better and uh, let's have a go. So click on the green flag and you can see there's a car. You can use the arrow keys to move the car around. You've got to dodge any obstacles that come your way. If you go off the edge of the road you do a spin. If you hit one of the obstacles or go onto the grass you'll crash your car. So, and the aim is obviously to get the highest score that you can before you crash. So, let's look at how we make the game. So we'll minimise that and we'll have a look inside. So first of all, we'll look at the background, the background, the backdrop. So, clicking over on the left-hand side on the stage here, if you look at the backdrops that we have, we have two backdrops, and I just drew these myself um, using the um, editor in Scratch. Um, I simply... I actually drew, drew one half of the road and then copied and duplicated and flipped the image and drew the other half of the road. Then I drew the white lines and I've just made two costumes. And if you look, when I click from one costume to the other, all I've done is draw a little box around the white lines. They, oh, not like that. If I click on the select tool. I basically just drew a box around the white lines and uh, cut that out and moved it and then filled in the grey and uh, it, when you when you swap from one image to the other it uh, gives you a fairly good illusion of the of moving along the road so basically if you look at the script for the backdrop when the green flag is clicked there's a forever loop and every 0 0.05 seconds it just switches from one backdrop to the next and then one backdrop to the next and it gives a fairly good illusion of travelling along the road. I've also put the soundtrack music script on the um, on the same uh, page, on the backdrop page, so the sound is simply the drum machine track from scratch and when the green flag is clicked it plays the drum machine sound forever until done. So let's have a look at the race car script. The race car script, when the green flag is, the first of all, the control script. It's, it's a nice simple control script. When the green flag is clicked, you set the score to zero. So the score is um, made as a variable that I made under the data tool palette. We switch the costume to race car. The race car actually has two costumes, the race car and then the sort of squished up crashed race car um, that I made just by messing with the original image. We point him in direction 90 degrees and we make it go to 0, x equals 0 which is the center of the screen and y equals minus 100 which is the bottom of the screen. And then there's a forever loop. These forever loops are really in, really useful when you're playing game, when you're making games and it, there's quite a simple movement script. So when the left arrow is pressed you change the x value by minus 5. When the right arrow is pressed you change the x value by 5. When the up arrow is pressed you change the y value by 5 and when the key down arrow is pressed uh, you change the y value by minus 5. So that just moves the race car around in quite a nice way. The second script is the crash script. So it makes a screaming noise and stops the game on collision with the grass, rocks or the elephant. So green flag clicked, forever loop and then you've got three if statements. One saying if you're touching the grass, the, the green colour, you switch the costume to race car 2 which is the crashed car and you play sound explosion 4 which is um, the... I oh know sorry it, it wasn't a... I put scream down there so I, I originally had a scream sound so we'll change that to explosion sound so it plays an explosion sound and uh, switches the costume to the crashed race car. And then the final little script in the race car for the race car is when the green flag is clicked forever loop. If the race car is touching the dark grey, which is the edge of the road, it repeats eight times a 45 degree turn. So it basically spins the car around. So when the car strays onto the edge of the road, it does a spin. So now let's look at the rocks script. The rocks script is nice and simple. The green flag sets the size of the rocks to 50% and hides the rocks. And then there's a forever loop. Every 2.2 seconds the rocks get shown. It points in direction 90 degrees. 
it sets the y and x coordinates. The x coordinate is set to a random number from minus 120 to 120, so the rock can appear anywhere along the width of the road. And then it's got a little repeat loop that repeats changing the y by minus 5 until the rock is touching the edge of the screen. So the rock appears at the top and then this little loop makes it move down the screen until it's touching the edge and then you change the score by 1 so you score 1 for not hitting the rock and then the rock hides. So that's, that's quite simple really. The elephant script is almost exactly the same apart from the elephant comes on the screen every three seconds and I've also made the elephant change costume I've given the elephant two costumes and uh, one pointing one way one pointing the other way and trumpeting and he changes costume every time he appears uh, every time he appears on the screen so that's pretty much it I'm sure you can make it a lot better so why don't you start from scratch draw your own road draw your own race car or find a, a sprite for a race car and um, see if you can do better than me. I'm sure you can. Have fun. Okay, bye.